Michael, 26, is currently unemployed, but the university graduate is trying not to be idle and a burden on his parents. I'm just done with the national service and I'm trying to find um, more like an intellectual practice. You get it, how to even sus uh, survive the year and sustain. Because there's a lot of pressure on us graduating from the university and your parents, probably your parents will understand the system. So they won't put that pressure on you, but the society is making it look like, hey, where are you university with TV? So we have to just get out from the house and then find something to do with our lives. There's anything that we get our hands on, that will fetch us money. To ensure he realizes the goal of furthering his education in 2024, Michael plans to save more money by cutting down on spending this year as one of the New Year resolutions on his list. Being a first degree graduate, it's more like a lightweight certificate. You get it. So this year I'm just trying to sustain for some time, probably get um, some amount of money on me to do my own rounds and other stuff, then gather some to further my education. If you don't see me out on weekend, yes, <laughs> I have to save. Making New Year resolution has become a tradition for many people. Beginning each year, you find people deciding to change an undesired trait or behavior, continue good practices, or accomplish a personal goal. A national service personnel at the KNUST Optometry Eye Clinic, Christian, says focusing on other ways of earning additional income is a priority among his New Year resolution. I have to explore other avenues of making some bit of incomes, doing some works online and then for me as an optometrist, getting some clinics to run shifts under supervision just to make some extra money to sustain me. For Abdul Razak Bawa, putting a stop on impulse buying should be a new year resolution to all persons, especially the youth who want to be financially independent. Normally we engage ourselves in profitable activities or work, but after getting the money, how to spend the money has become a problem. We normally buy unnecessary goods or impulse buying, some things that we don't need in our life. Instead of us to save much for a future, as we are still in post-COVID-19 era, well, in most cases, more than half of New Year resolutions fail, but it's better to give it a try and set a doable goal. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Kumasi.